Today's Tuesday, it's the uh, 11th of July 2023 and we've come down to market day, Tuesday's market day in Pagera and uh, we're going to have a look around the market just as we drive down. Oh, there's the bus, that's the airport bus that is just going down there and that will take you all the way to the airport for a very reasonable price. Anyway, we, we didn't come to look at the bus, we came to look at the market, so let's have a look down here. Um, we just find a big car park at the top there with virtually no cars in it, so there's loads of parking if you come by a car. Bus just arrived. And uh, right across the road there you've got Lidl, that's a really big supermarket there, and there's another one across the road, that's Mercadona, another good supermarket. If you... I've got a couple of things I want to get. From Lidl? No, from, from, oh, from the market. The market. Uh, what's new? Anita's got a shopping list. It says stop. 10 euros, everything there. Actually done a few markets uh, in recent days. So, uh, we were up in the north of the island and managed to go to the little market in Binisalem and the one in Boucher. Missed the one in Camp Pickerfort. I'll have to do that on another occasion. But this one is all down the pavement along here. And is one of the bigger markets. It's on both sides of the road. And it looks pretty busy today as far as stalls are concerned. We came down particularly early. It's quarter to ten in the morning. Just because today is going to be one of the hottest days. Uh, certainly in the last few weeks and uh, predicting temperatures in some parts of the island will hit 40 degrees or possibly even more and uh, so to come out later on you just can't do it there's the bags and the belts Sort of miro ish shirts there. Local. Saw these baskets. Oh, we went also to the Pienza market. Saw these baskets there. Not many shoppers out yet. too early. finger puppets. When we were in uh, Poyenza there were some South American stalls and frequently they have these jumpers they actually need them at this time of the year but Anita's in the past has bought those for the grandchildren mm -hmm. My traditional pantalone things Got your numbers there, look at your letters. No, you got them from a shop. Yeah, it's a shop across there. I'll go to the shop. Anita's looking for some letters to make up the name of a, uh, the address of a friend of ours. So, uh, she did buy some here for Serena for her new house. 
she's now settled into. We'll be over there soon, hopefully. Oh, now we come to the fruit and vegetables. These actually are much cheaper than the Carrefour. We went to Carrefour to do some shopping yesterday. Tomato is much cheaper here, dear. Are they? Um, I've, on my list of things to do, I've got to make a gazpacho, cold soup. Do a video of that, can't you? Yeah. Very, very straightforward. Just throw everything in and make it nice and cold in the fridge. Square here with a few shops around. Ooh, and this one's the bread store. All the different breads you buy by the kilo. And then inside Madas, the croissants, pastries, trump up, cockaron. Oh, all the things I like that Anita says no to. <laughs> La bolsa esa negra que más da, y esa chiquitilla, ponle tres y ya está. Having seen some of the markets being quite small, this one is really busy in terms of stalls. And last time we came down here, I don't think there were anywhere near so many stalls here. That would have been in the winter time, they're obviously catering for the, the tourists. And this is Pagera, so it's uh, largely looking at German tourists. So, we refer to it as a Chinese shop, which sells just about anything and everything. Salted fish, yeah. salted cod. Let's get rid of all of the olives. The olives they marinate them all in different ways. So that's why they have different olives, different flavours, different stuffed with different things like anchovies, sometimes stuffed with peppers. 
over the weekend I had some olives wrapped with liver and they were particularly nice and I really like that we don't eat liver very often and this is not really a liver eater no flowers today no flowers and we've just come across uh, another big supermarket this is Roski so we've got Little Eroski and Mercadona all within a short walking distance and you've got everything there including your uh, newspapers orange juice, mango and the road up there goes to Califonelles it's a particularly busy corner because um, it looks like they're doing all the deliveries now traffic coming out of the parking for the supermarket we're actually on a roundabout in our hands. And we're across. This is um, a doctor's here in Bulgaria. Um, this will be private. But, uh, if you do need any medical assistance, you should really contact the people in your hotel. They will tell you exactly where to go. And this is the, the beginning of Pagara, uh, the, the walk that goes all the way through the town. Just loads and loads of shops. We're not going to walk all the way through there, are we? No. No. Today, <laughs> definitely. <clears throat> just a uh, definite no there. Notice the different spellings. This is the, uh, the Catalan way of spelling Pagara with an E, Peguera. I did write, read an article from uh, someone from Peguera saying it was wrong to actually <coughs> um, change the spelling of Peguera. Uh, she was up in arms about it. Here's a pharmacy. This is another place. If you've got a something small, if you've got a rash or if you've got a bee a sting or a jellyfish sting, then just go to the pharmacy. They will certainly help you out. Well, we just did call into the pharmacy, the chemist. Well, three, three get our drugs. prescription. <laughs> three drugs, as Anita says. <laughs> And now, we're now on the other side of the road now, and we need to walk up back to the top again. Find somewhere for a coffee. Lots of bars on this side of the road, looking very busy. This is after some of the uh, this material, this Mayorkin material. Um, uh, one of our daughters in England wants to make a a tablecloth. It uh, should look nice. An essential item, I think. Certainly for the ladies. And, uh, I've even seen gentlemen using them make a difference, just that little bit of movement in the air. This morning I got up at 5.30, it was just so warm, 
temperatures not really even in the night going much below 30 degrees so very 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 hot Cherries. We were looking for cherries yesterday in the supermarket, couldn't find them. There's plenty on all of the market stalls we've been to. You want with a sweet tooth? So we're not having much luck now, we just uh, measured up a tablecloth and uh, it wasn't quite big enough and uh, that's the shop where Anita bought the ceramic tiles with the letters for the name of the address on. So we're going to have to make our way back across the road, unfortunately there's a crossing here and see if we can find a, a stall where they're sure we can. Get one made up. Yeah. And Anita's got Adios. her letters now. Gracias. So Anita's got her letters and uh, and it put into a frame, so that's um, ready to take off on our trip to England now. Found yet another hat store. Uh, the new hat I've bought actually got a, a black band around it that says Mallorca, and this is not too keen on that. I don't know. Um, my thought is I'd take it off and put one on that says. Steve and Anita in Mallorca. <laughs> people don't know who you are without that going. Yeah. Just seems to be getting a little bit busier. euros for a fun. We bought one of those when we were in Boyensa. Not one of these. I like those though. I like the idea of those. Mm. A really extensive market here in Pagara today. It's a 
hat at the end there at the bottom, so it seems to have a nice big wide brim. Same as this one or more? Same. Same. I don't need another hat. I keep telling myself I don't need another one. I've only got one head. Well, we've just come to the end of the market and we're really close to where we got the car park. So uh, thanks very much for watching. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.